Hi everyone, it's Sherry with Blessed Baubles. And before we continue our awesome 10 pound box of Shop Goodwill jewelry, I thought I would come on and take care of a little business here and there, okay? And just say hello for a minute. So one of the things that we have is this Spartacus craft jar. A lot of people ask for this, but it did sell to a person and the person couldn't buy the jar. So rather than tell you to go back and look at what was in the Spartacus jar, I'm just going to dump it out and redo it really quickly so that you can see what I had put in there. So we have Spartacus craft jar. It was 25 and again, a lot of people asked for it, but the one person that got it couldn't, couldn't do it. So we have this copper color bracelet. Um, nothing wrong with that. Oopsie. We don't want to miss a single bead. And I think I put a lot of special beads in here, like these really cool glass beads. I'll drop them in my hand now so they don't make too much noise in the jar at first. And I love these big old, um, like lucite beads with these gold tone beads. I think I put two, yeah, one each of those. That would be a cool pair of earrings. And then also we have something with a lot of rhinestones. It's been a while since I made this jar. So it looks like we have a beautiful rhinestone necklace. It's on maybe some kind of extender, not sure. But the rhinestones are gorgeous. So I'm sure someone could use those. And an acrylic earring or a pair of them. I'm sorry, enamel, a pair of enamel. And a very beautiful vintage crystal bracelet. Nothing wrong with it. And it looks like it has some howlite beads and a beautiful horse. So I guess I thought to put it, that in there, that someone could wear it and enjoy it. It's not always all craft. This is a pretty piece too, a very long crystally kind of a necklace. But I put that in the Spartacus jar. Also, this lovely piece. It just needs to be connected like right here. It has gray colored rhinestones. It's really pretty and some much bigger ones throughout here. And I just can't get to fixing everything. And this one is a Charming Charlie. So that can be fixed and enjoyed or you can use all those rhinestones. What else went into Spartacus? I put in this necklace here. Again, I'm trying to remember, but this is from Ruby Road. Okay, I love Ruby Road pieces. So lots of really pretty beads on here. Glass crystal, black faceted glass. A lot of useful parts. I can see why I put that in there. It has a little bit of wear. And oh, I'll never forget finding these in probably the 38 pound box of jewelry. These are just beautiful, or this is. It was only one earring, isn't that gorgeous? <gasps> oh, so I hope someone's gonna make something great with that. And we've got some Howlite beads. Looks like some more of, maybe they came off of this, no. But this is cool. Some kind of glass or stone and lots of cobalt blue glass seed beads. Nothing wrong with that, but this piece looked a little chipped. So we've got that. This looks like a piece of beautiful jasper, fancy jasper. I think Ann Miller called it that. My wonderful friend Ann Miller that comments on my videos about the gemstones, she told me in my last video that the necklace was a fancy jasper that looks like this. It's got lavender and green and beautiful colors. We've got a hoop earring. So those are gonna go in. And these little things keep rolling off the table. All right, that's one. Looks like some more really pretty glass beads. Look at that one, gorgeous. So that goes in. This is one of those wire necklaces. 
Looks like the wire came undone, but it is from New York and Company. It has cat eye glass on it, and I probably put it around like this. Yeah, I think so. Then we had this earring filigree piece, could be a pendant. And some of these parts that went to a necklace that I'm sure someone can figure out what to do with. This is an earring. Too bad there aren't two, because that's cute. And this is a fuzzy earring. Then we've got a money clip. Pretty good shape. And a fancy filigree. I think I, I don't like this part, but I thought these pieces could be very useful. This looks like tiger's eye on the bottom. Really cute beads. Then we have, oh, I know, lobster clasp, the top of a necklace. I thought these would be really useful for someone wanting to make a multi-layer chain necklace. This is pretty, but that's coming unwound. Bracelet. Then we've got some crystals on this that I thought might be helpful. And some other glass beads that just look hand blown as well as that one, and a little kind of cloisonne-ish. This is an acrylic bead, another glass bead, and an earring. So that's the Spartacus jar. But I'm going to add something to it because it looks like it's settled down a bit and I could fit some more things in it. So I really like this necklace. I think it came from the 10 pound box, not sure. I can't figure out why. Anyway, I think it has like three layers to it. And one of the layers had come off and they tied it on. But here's why I'm putting it in. These stones are beautiful. I want to say they're tiger's eye, but I can't be sure. I just thought they were gorgeous and can be so useful. Along with all these cute little coins. So I'm going to put this necklace in. An easy fix to wear it in three layers, or you can use all those beads. So I hope that's great. And for all of you who wanted Spartacus, maybe it was good that you waited a little because now it has an extra piece in it and it has come available again. So there's our Spartacus $25 craft jar. Okay. If you like that, just send me an email to capecodebaygirl at gmail.com. Let me know the video name, episode number, the timestamps of when your pieces show. And just to help you out, if you're watching on a TV, the way you get the timestamps is you push the pause button and you'll see two numbers on the screen. You'll see the timestamp of where the video is at that moment, and on the right, you'll see the full time period of the video. Hope that makes sense. So push your pause button, look to the left, and that'll be the time stamps that you're looking for of when you see something you like. You can rewind, fast forward, things like that. Also send me a brief description of what you liked and the prices. In the case of the jar, you can just say that you're interested in video name, episode number, and the name of the craft jar, which is Spartacus. Okay, so I hope that's helpful to you. And I have this really lovely necklace. It's so pretty. I was just going to offer it for sale. And then I saw this one little part on there, so I'm going to add this to a craft jar. It's got some beautiful art glass. Look at those beads. Aren't they precious? And the colors in the shell were just so pretty to me, so I'm a little disappointed. Actually, instead of waiting for a whole nother craft jar, I can offer this as a craft item for, I mean, look at those. Are they pretty? Uh, for $6, okay? So that simplifies that. Just let me know the timestamp and that you wanted the shell necklace as a craft item for the price that I gave. Also have this box of Avon earrings I've had this for quite a while, and 
I didn't want to use them for our jewelry bags because they're all interchangeable. So I thought I'd sell them as a set. So they are from Avon and you can take out this little stud here and you can put something different on it. I hate to pull them all off, but I think I need to to show you what I mean. So you have this little stud and then you can take this little piece off and wear just the stud or you can put it on and so little it just went in the box. Anyway, I think you see what I mean. You can put it back on and you can wear it that way. Or you can use one of the green, like these are like a light blue green, or you can use the darker green and put the little bits on it. Or you can put the little tiny gold piece in the middle. So it looks like there's a lot, a lot of choices on what you can do with these interchangeable earrings from Avon. So I'm gonna put that back on there. A lot of the backs on them are Avon marked. A couple of them I had to put on myself, so just so you know that. These are interchangeable as well. You can take this little lower piece off of this top piece and mix everything, mix and match around, as well as these cute little gold ball beads and those flower pieces on the back. So loads and loads of choices. Whole set of Avon interchangeable, even here too, see? The pearl piece and that piece on the back. So, wow, I guess if we did multiplication, we could figure out how many pairs you could get out of that. But I don't feel like doing that right now. Anyway, I hope you like this lovely interchangeable Avon set. And I would say 45 for the whole thing. Okay, so let me know if you like those. 45 on the whole set. In the box and everything. Okay, also getting a little business out of the way. Some of you like this vintage bracelet that I wore the other day. I like it too. And it's made of different colored glass. Big, chunky, beautiful pieces that I thought I would offer it for sale. Before I list it on eBay, I'll offer it here. And it measures seven inches, and I'll say 25 on that beautiful, chunky vintage bracelet with the box clasp. Okay, so that's that one. And for the person that bought this bracelet, I'm gonna look you up in my files and let you know but I thought I'd just let you know quickly on the video that I found the earrings to match your bracelet. So if you're interested in the earrings to match, I thought it was easier to show you right here. And I'd say $5 if you want those that go with the bracelet you already bought, okay? So just send me an email and say, I'm the person that bought the bracelet. I'd like the earrings that match for five, okay? And if you don't want them, then they're offering, they're an offer to anyone else for the same price. Something very exciting I wanted to share with you from the 10 pound box is that this Coldwater Creek necklace that I kept ooing and eyeing over is a sterling silver necklace. So I did find out that Coldwater Creek did make a lot of sterling silver pieces. I never knew that. This is absolutely gorgeous. I cleaned it up and it's stunning. Look how long it is. Liquid silver, it's called. Now, Terry has asked me about this, so she has first dibs on it. It is marked 925 right on the clasp. But when I was unboxing, I didn't see that 925 until a little bit later. So it's all sterling. I tested it all. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I had to ask myself for several days, do I want it? And I do want it, but I also need to pay my bills, so... That's that necklace. I'm pretty sure I priced it about 125 for Terry. If she doesn't want it, uh, then others of you can let me know what you think. And it measures over 28 inches, almost 30 inches. So there's that one. I meant to have my scale here to measure it, but 
that's okay. If you're interested, you can ask me how much it weighs if Terry doesn't take it. But, oh, it's just beautiful. Really excited to find out that Cold Water Creek does sterling silver. Also, some of you liked my Cloisonne bracelet. This is something I'm just about to list on eBay, but I thought I'd offer this for you too. Now, I've had it put aside in a pile of stuff to go on eBay with a necklace and earring, so let me explain. So the bracelet is Cloisonne or Cloisonne style. Beautiful flowers, it's a clamper, gold tone, with really pretty purpley peach and green and blue colors here. And this is what it looks like around the side. So this bracelet I will offer here on my channel for $15. It measures, I didn't realize my wrist was so small, about six and a half. So 15 on the bracelet. And then I've got these cloisonne clip-ons that I was gonna maybe list together with the bracelet. I'm not sure if they're an exact match, but they're very similar. So there's those, they're in really great shape. Beautiful cloisonne clip-ons. And the earrings, I would say $12 on those. So you've got bracelet and earrings. Now I have to explain about the necklace because it's not the same type of cloisonne. This is like the imported cloisonne that is vintage. The much older, um, yeah, import cloisonne beads on this necklace. Now it has also black faceted, like the French jet black glass, some green beads in between. I'm not sure if someone took a vintage necklace and added these pieces or not, but I do know that these are the older cloisonne beads, and I'll show you some more of them really close. They're very beautiful. So they're about this size here. Then they get bigger and larger and larger all the way to this front bead, which is pretty big size. It's just so beautiful. I was gonna list this on eBay too, but I thought I'd show you all. It's on a toggle clasp that's why I don't know if someone made, remade it or something, but I just know that those beads are the older beads. So the necklace is $45, and it measures 24 inches. So that's that. It's quite heavy, and the beads are stunning. So you've got 45 for the necklace and the bracelet and earrings that could be worn together if you like it together or and that all three of those come to $72 or you can have all three pieces for 65 so let me know what you think about these and I'll put those aside and if that's not an interest then I'll just go ahead and do my listing tonight else? Oh, another piece from this box that I had a minute to look into was this really beautiful, dainty little 120th 12 karat gold filled chain. And if you've been following the video, it had these three precious little beads on the bottom. I tested the beads and I am right that they are meant to look like gold, silver, and copper, but the beads all tested as sterling silver. So I would say 120th 12 karat gold necklace with vermeil beads on the bottom. It's just so pretty. Great chain. And this measures 18 inches. And it's really in good gift condition if you wanted to give it as a gift. And I would say 16 on the gold filled necklace with the sterling beads. So that's that one. Before we finish up our 10 pounds, someone also asked if, well, I said I might show some of my eBay listings on the channel and they encouraged me to do so. So I'm just going to show you real quick a peek of some of the things I have listed on eBay. And maybe I'll do a whole video and give you the prices too because I can't recall all the prices I listed these for, but I did want you to see some of the things I have there. 
So this is a multi-strand peacock pearl torsade necklace. So beautiful. It's not a 14 karat gold clasp, but it's quite beautiful nonetheless. That's that necklace. It's in great condition. And you can, of course, unclasp it and do more of a twist and wear it as a torsade. So that's one of the things I have on eBay to give you a peek. Look at my funny little marks on the bag. When I sell something on eBay, then I'll take this little tag off and I'll know that it's sold. So another thing I have listed over there, like we say in New England, over there. Don't park your car over there in Harvard Yard. It is a rice pearl necklace. And I've been telling Jen about this. So Jen from Coffee, Joy, and Jokes, here is my rice pearl necklace I've been talking about. And it's got a gold tone clasp. Again, so pretty. And the pearls just feel so cold and yummy. It's another torsade type necklace. Of course, real pearls. And it's a beauty. So beautiful. So that's in my eBay store too. Now, I kind of don't want to say too much about my eBay store because if a lot of people go over there for curiosity, then my eBay score drops because it looks like people have gone there and didn't like what they saw and didn't buy it, but that's okay. We'll just do a few pieces and see what happens. Now, this I found quite a while ago, and I love it and I enjoyed it. I thought it was check glass, but it really ended up to be um, oh, what's that type of stone? Now I'm going to draw a blank. It's all sterling silver findings. And yeah, I'm going to have to go look at what this is made of because I forgot. Silly me. So blue lace agate. That's what I was trying to think of. So I'll show you that really quickly. This is just a gorgeous piece. So many of us were talking about this when I first unboxed it. I think this was the same box I got my coral necklace that I just treasure. So again, it's got all the sterling silver findings. And I'm not really selling. I'm just saying this is what's in my eBay store. If you're interested, just let me know for sure. Oh, and while I was over there... I took a look and the rice pearl necklace is listed at $62.99 or best offer. The blue lace agate is listed at $149 or best offer. This is heavy. The peacock pearl necklace, looking at my notes. Oh, where is it? Is listed as $89.99 or best offer. So that goes back in my bag so I can keep track of what I'm doing. And then a few other things. I have this necklace that I found quite a while back. This is so gorgeous. It has all of these stones. I don't know what to call this on eBay, so if anyone can help me with some keywords, I would love it. But that's turquoise. That's all turquoise. I know that they're called agates when it's a big stone like this. But I just don't know some really good keywords. But it's so beautiful. Of course, it's all sterling silver. And it is marked ATI 925. So beautiful. So this one, did I say already? $39.99. I think that's probably too low because my keywords are not correct, I think. So if anyone can help, thank you so much. I would love that. Then I have this other really long tassel. This is an oldie, all brass, seed beads, so pretty. This is an, on the eBay store too. That's on there for $16.99 or best offer. What else can I share with you? Um, oh, this is a fun one. I think some of you will love this. It's 
a vintage Morgan Taylor. It is marked. Isn't that gorgeous? It's like a brown enamel covered with clear. And the chain is just so pretty. Oh my goodness. With the box clasp. Here's the back and it's signed. Such a beautiful piece. Chain is just, I mean, look at that. And what do I have the Morgan Taylor at? $29.99 or best offer. So I thought that would be fun to share with you. And I was also talking about a Brooks Brothers necklace that I had on eBay, and here it is. It's equestrian style. The gold color on it is so pretty. Now someone in the comments said that Shaq owns Brooks Brothers. Not sure, but this is one of the 325 or 324 line, 346, <laughs> 346 line of jewelry. Toggle clasp, just so classy looking. Beautiful necklace from um, Brooks Brothers. And I have that for $15.99, our best offer, and it is signed. What else can I share before we get back to our 10 pounds? Oh, this is so cool. I don't know if someone made it or what, but I just picture someone like a runway model wearing this piece, and it has to be what it was for because it's stunning. It's got all this stuff wrapped around it to protect it. But look at this necklace. It's on a silver tone or darker metal chain. And look at these crystals. Aren't they beautiful? Wish I could show the whole piece in entirety, but can you imagine someone with that on their neck walking down the, the catwalk? It's just gorgeous. So I have that on eBay. Look at those crystals, they're fantastic. So I'm gonna wrap it up again with all my protective stuff because I don't want it to chip or anything like that. And put it back in my bag but I can keep track of what I'm doing. And what have I got this one for? Um, crystal Runway Necklace, $39.99 or best offer on eBay. So, oh, and one more. Well, I have hundreds of listings there, but that would take a long time to show you all. But I love this one. This is all genuine pearl and rock crystal. Isn't that gorgeous? There's a lot here. It's a very, very long piece. It goes on and on and on. And I actually like this as a wrap bracelet. I think it looks really pretty all wrapped around like that. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at the pearls. Real pearls are just, oh. Look at the um, luster on them. Just a really well-made piece for sure. So lots there. And this I have Real Pearl and Rock Crystal, $29.99 or best offer on eBay. So just thought I'd have some fun showing you a little bit of what I've got going on in my eBay store. I really love selling on YouTube though, it's my favorite. So I really like selling here first and then over there. But I've been on eBay for over 25 years, maybe 20, 25 by now, and I enjoy it, really do. Okay, that's all my little things to share with you. We're gonna get back to our video on the 10 pounds of amazing jewelry that we've been finding. Please email me if you see anything you like at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com with the video name and episode number, the timestamps of when your pieces show, a brief description of what those pieces are, and if you can use the way I describe them, it helps, but you don't have to, and the prices that are given, okay? So thanks so much, everybody. Thank you very much for that, and uh, we'll get back to our video now and see what else we've got in this awesome box. Hi everyone, it's Sherry with Blessed Baubles. I'm really glad you're here for our third part of our shopgoodwill.com 
10 pounds of jewelry. It's been a small box, but it's packed a wallop, let me tell you. So first, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to my channel and click the like button if you like the video. It would really help the channel a lot and I would appreciate it. And click the bell so you're notified of when I post a video and you'll be able to email me right away if you see something that you love. So as I go through the video and I offer things for sale, here's how you will be able to purchase. Send me an email at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com if you're able to screenshot this, that would help. Um, also give me these four pieces of information. I'll need the video name and episode number, the timestamps of when your pieces show. You can get that by pausing your video. And to the left is usually the timestamp, and to the right is how long the video is. Please also give me a brief description of the pieces that you like and the prices, okay? So thanks for letting me tell you all about that. And wow, we have had such an exciting time with this box. There's so many pieces of beautiful vintage. And wow, um, like I said, a small box packing a huge wallop. So in the last episode, I found these solid 14 karat gold earrings. I don't think I've found gold in a Goodwill box except one other time. And 18 karat gold pendant with a citrine. Isn't that gorgeous? We tested it together on the last video. And a 14 karat gold bracelet. So watch your bangles. You never know if you have one that's precious metals. We tested these earrings and found they were marked sterling and tested sterling. So these are really pretty. I think they are made of ceramic and painted over the top. Little butterflies, really cute. I don't think I priced these on the last video, so I'm going to price them now. And we tested, and they were sterling all the way to the bottom as well. So all sterling and marked and tested. Cute little butterflies. And let's kick it off right away, and I'll say, um, 16 on these okay so we got those done now this necklace was from episode one and i said that i would give it a wash and see if it got a little bit you know not so tightly wound and it did it looks better but i would like you to know that it's a little bit tight on the wire i'm not sure if after you wear it it'll get better it's, there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, I don't think that's bad, but... And also, we found there's rhinestones here and here, and there's one missing right there. So just letting you know and reminding you about this piece, that I never offered it for sale because I wanted to see if I could get it to hang better. And it really does hang better. So I got two of these in this box. They're so beautiful. So I'm going to offer this one. It's an Aurora Borealis vintage crystal necklace a double hang as you can see and it measures 18 measures 16 inches and then the this part is 18. now i want to remind you that you can very easily hook something to this part if the necklace you want it to be longer hook something to, the, to this part and then to this part you can use a chain bracelet, um, lots of different things, and you can even buy an extender. So don't count these out when they're not very long because you can always extend them. So there you go. There's Aurora Borealis, the beautiful crystal necklace, and I'm going to say 20 on that. I don't know. I haven't had many. I haven't had any to be able to sell them to know what they go for. So, All right, so let's keep going. Um... I think this one was already priced on the last video, so that was good. So let me show you some more things that I got, and I haven't haven't finished. I, I'm doing these videos back to back, so I felt I didn't trust myself to not go and look at everything with the gold that I found, so it's been exciting. This is a gorgeous faceted glass necklace. It's old. And I love how they put white beads in between the white 
and little tiny black beads in between the bigger black beads. This necklace, I can't offer it yet because it needs some cleaning right there. It seems to attack the brass parts more than anything. So wish me well on that. I really hope I can get this beautiful baby clean because it's precious. So that's another thing I found. And this, oh, this is part of the necklace. Okay, that's pretty. So let me put this aside and also show you the one last tray that we haven't gone through. All these little earrings and things. So this should be fun. And there's some more pieces I didn't price on the last video, so I'll get to them this time. So this looks very beautiful. An orange color stone here. Lots of little tiny rhinestones there and different color metal leaves. These are glass beads here. And it's on this memory wire seed bead necklace. That's gorgeous. Really pretty. That's the back of it. And yeah, it's going to be self-adjustable. You know, that can get to whatever size you want. And I'll say $5 on that. That's a beautiful color right there. Okay. Next is this chunky, chunky multi-chain piece. It's on... Oh, and this one's marked, too. So this has a B on it. I don't know who that is. I was going to look into that. There's so much to look into with this one, this box. So it has multiple chains, a couple of book chains, a paper clip chain, some thinner sterling, not sterling, but silver, and some wider link. And once you fiddle with it a little bit, it hangs about like this. Just didn't want to take too much time up in the video. So just so you know, because the camera, it's hard to tell. This is silver tone. This is gold tone, gold tone, silver tone, and silver tone, okay? So that's that beautiful piece with that letter B on the heart. Lobster clasp. The book chains are really cool. It measures, it's heavy, so it's hard to hold it up here. Um, 22 inches. So that's that piece. It's in good shape. And I'll say $12 on that. What do we have next? Um, looks like a bracelet. Not sure what that would mean. Me and why. Oh, <laughs> me and you. Here we go. Oh, that was funny. So, I don't know. It's shiny. It's got like an AB coating on the bracelet part of it. It buckles. Let's see if it says anything inside. And if we can tell if it's leather. I can't tell. It doesn't say that it is. So, I don't know much about this. But there you go. It's in good shape. I'll say $2 on the me and you, okay? This feels like all glass. It's pretty heavy. Loads of beads in there. The stretch is pretty good. I think I was getting too nervous about the stretch in previous videos. and These elastics are pretty strong, so I'm not going to worry about them as much. But it does have a little... Well, no, it goes right back. So glass faceted beads, lots of silver beads, teeny bit of wear right there. So it's probably copper underneath. But it looks like it's got a lot of good wear left in it. There's my poor flattened bracelet thing that I stepped on. It sits at seven. Again, it's hefty with a lot of glass. I would say five on that. Okay, and then we have this pretty piece. This looks like a little price tag was on there. So I'm not gonna pull that. It is on the stretch. 
and the stretch feels great. That's a cool piece. Gold tone, lots of little nubbies on there. And this one sits at seven. And it's got good weight to it, good shape. I'll say five on that one. Okay, what else, what else, what else? We have this necklace. It's got a very teal color stone here and a blue color here. These are beautiful stones. Tassel, as you can see, it's on silver tone and then it's on this ribbon that goes to this um, like uh, geometrical shaped pen um, blah, blah, clasp or maker's mark something. And it has that maker's mark on it. I don't know who that is, but that's that one. If you know who that is, let me know. It has a really sparkly crystal at the end. It's a beautiful necklace. Marquee cut stones. These are all rhinestones in here. This is what it looks like on the back. And do I see a name in there? I mean, I know there's a little mark on the tag, but it makes life so much easier when you have a name. No, it was a reflection. I can't help think how beautiful this will be when it's all finished, cleaned up. I mean, it's beautiful now. So there's that piece. I have no idea of the maker or that special class. That's how it looks on. And it looks like a choker for sure. Um, yeah, it measures 14 inches with another two inch extender. So 14 to 16 on that. And I will say, um, eight dollars on this one okay so much to explore that i'm not sure i'll have a lot for sale in this video but i'm glad to have you along while i look at it all oh i know i was holding on to this because i think there might be a stone in this pile that would go with it so we'll see we'll let that one hang out over there we found our other Christmas bulb earring. So I'll bring the weight for your mate board over. And oh, should we do these at the end? Maybe. Maybe I'll wait a little bit. Let's do it this way. That's a cool earring. Looks like brass. Needs a new back. Very colorful. And I see the other one here. Put those up there. Uh, what else? I see a pair here. Look like old lucite. Nice color. I think I'm going to have trouble with the camera if I try to have this in the picture. So, which is a bummer because I want you to see all that. But uh, let's see. We'll try it this way. Okay, so we have this pair. They're in good condition. I love them. I love these. Um, I'll put new backs on them and I'll say $6 on these. They're beautiful. Also found these in the last video. I'm going to hold on to these, I think, for our Friday night jewelry bags because I might need some purple. So I hope you don't mind that, and I hope you'll be excited when you see them show up at the Friday Night Fun Color Jewelry Bags. This too, I mean, I think I have a necklace these can match with exactly. But I'll tell you what, I will offer them now, and if they don't sell, then I'll use them then. Um, they're in great shape. They must be brand new because they, well, maybe not. They have a nice clean back on them. Let me see if it's just a little bit of what moisture would do over time. Yeah, I think so. 
they're not worn at all. They just have a little bit of, you know, a little age to them because they're not spring chickens. So that's those. They're lightweight and I'll say five on those. Okay, next we have, what is this? Maybe hair clips? I have to find that place to open it. Maybe right here? Yes, okay. Oh, they are. That's so beautiful. Fashion jewelry. I mean, they're probably in the stores all the time. I just don't usually shop for jewelry. But they're pretty, and they're brand new. Lots of nice rhinestones on them. They have a rose gold tone to them. And I'll, I don't know, I'll say $2. I don't know what they go for in stores. But hopefully you like those. What else? See, this is another one that is exactly to a necklace that I have. All right, these are, are black and gold tone. They're very lightweight, so they're acrylic. They are going to get some nice clean backs on them and get cleaned up. I just don't know. They're just, I don't know. They're just really lightweight. There's nothing wrong with them. I just feel like there's no glass there to sell, you know. So, you know what? Let me know if you want these and I'll just throw them in. Okay? They look nice. They're just not glass. And remind me that I said that those are a giveaway, okay? We have some really funky green studs. That's a bright color. A little bit of splatter color on them. Uh, I don't know if anyone would be interested in those, but if you are, I'll just say a dollar. It's been such a fun bag with vintage pieces real gold and other things. It's like, um, you know, uptown, downtown in this bag because there's been some pieces that are phenomenal and some pieces that are just not that phenomenal. This is a stretchy necklace. I've never seen that. Black seed beads, cute button closure with a little Y drop. That's really cute. It is acrylic, it's very light, and I guess I'll just say a dollar on that. Okay, these are very interesting. They look like something. Let me get the back off. It's hard because, oh, did it just come off? The whole thing came off. So there's a yellowish glue, and that part just popped right off. Oh. Let me see if they're going to be worth gluing back on, because I can do that. They're not marked anywhere. I do love them, but they're dirty. Ugh. Okay, I have to put these aside. I don't want to offer anything like that. Let me see if I can get them clean, because I did think I saw a second one. Yes, okay, so I'll see what I can do with those first. And if I can make them nice, then I'll see what I can if I can make them nice, then I'll offer them. But I wanted to keep all those pieces together. So sorry about that noise. Okay, this guy. And I don't know if there's a second one of those. So we'll put it aside. We have this. That's supposed to be on there. Okay, that looks like Labradorite, Labradorite to me. I'll turn on Miss Prissy and we'll see. Throw that part away. And I don't know. I thought I put one of these in our last craft jar, but it didn't have this piece on the bottom. It's got a little hammer gold tone piece there. So let me see. Oops, <laughs> there's a little bead stuck to my magnet. 
if they are magnetic or not. They're not. And the other one was, so it must not have been the other one to this. Okay. Not sure what to do about this guy. Let's see if there's even a second one, because it needs a bath. This is beautiful, and we have the other one here. So let's see what this says, if anything. They're gold tone and black enamel. Gorgeous, and they're very nice quality. Yeah, they're beautiful. Really beautiful. Let's see if I can see anything here on this one. Sometimes they're marked real tiny right around that ring part there. I don't see a name on these, but wow. They're really lovely with the gold tone markings in between. And they're almost complete hoops. They'll have nice clean backs on them, and I'll say seven on those. Nice quality. Okay. And I'm going to check the backs because this is an Avon back. Yeah, so I'll put that in the clean pile. And then this one says surgical steel. So I'll think about that one. That might be a good thing to hold on to. So we've got that piece. This is an oldie. I don't even know what this is. But it really needs cleaning up, so I'll have to clean this up and see what it is. It's an old clip-on. Might not even make it, but I'll try. If nothing else, I like to learn what the material is that it's made of. You know, because I don't know. So that'll be a learning experience. Let's go in my little cup of things to clean. Don't know what that is. This guy, what do I remember? Oh, I remember the Velcro on it. But I don't know if there's two. Hey, this matches the necklace that I priced in the last video. It sure does. Let me see if I can find that really quickly show you. Okay, so that was one of the necklaces, and that looks like it could match. Don't know, but it's got the same initials. Okay, that's really cool. And there is a second one. Wow, these are really beautiful. Look at that. So that's like a blue, like a midnight blue color glass. And then I don't know what color the next one is. Gorgeous. Love those. An artist signed. Whoever the artist is, we don't know. But I will say 12 on these. That's exciting. Okay. There were two of those necklaces, so maybe there's two pairs of earrings. Okay, we've got this. That's cute hammer gold tone with a little uh, image on it. That looks interesting. This. Okay, we have the other one on the board to this one. Really cool looking. With the moon and the star. I think episode one we had the first one of these, so. On the board. Yep, there's the other one. Okay. And we'll price those in a little minute. These are super old clip-ons. I think I was disappointed that there was a stone missing in one of these because they have the baguettes, which is, you don't see the baguette stones that often in the vintage jewelry. At least I don't. So... Looks like a really nice piece, rhodium plated. So these are going to go in my cleanup pile. I know there's two. 
Um, I'll have to find the other one. Oh, here it is. So, really nice, aren't they? Gorgeous. And hopefully, those will be salvageable. Now, what is this? This looks just like... No, not just like... So, a cufflink. And... I don't know. It's really handsome. Silver tone, gold tone. Let me see. Oh, yeah, it's a snap. Okay, so what would someone do with these? Put them on like their shirt collar? You know, those little buttons that... Okay, so it says B, like boy, and W, company. Patent, 1923. Wow. And this side says... Presto. <laughs> Um, come apart, presto, come apart, snaps. Cool, really cool. So there's that one. Really fun stuff. Here's another one. I have no idea what to do with those, so those go in my research pile. At least they're nice and clean. Okay, here's the card I was talking about on this earring. American Eagle Outfitters. I'm not sure if that came on the card, but if it did, at least you know the maker. They have cute pink peachy little colors, little crystals on the bottom, and I'll put some new backs on them. Let's see. They would have been $15.50 and then marked down to $11. I'll say $3 on those. Then we have this beautiful pendant. It has like a courting scene on it. There's the back. Let me see if this can polish up a bit. So I'm sure I've seen these before. I just never got one. Don't know much about it. It is magnetic. It looks very lovely. Um, if you love it, I'll say $8 on that, okay? What else can we find? Let me throw all these earring backs away. Ooh, I'm glad I found, oh, yeah, I'm glad I found the other one of this because this is so pretty. Look at that blue color glass. And it's a nice gold tone, but it needs cleaned. Oh, all right. That's going to be worth cleaning because it's really good quality. It's a beautiful stone. I hope there's a second one. I kind of thought I already found it. So this is the point where it starts to get a little bit like, did I find that already? Did I not? Okay, gold tone. Ooh, that looks like it has like alligator leather on it. But it's kind of worn. Looks like it's an Anson, A-N-S-O-N. But I don't know if it's gonna make it. It's kind of bent. Here's the other gold tone. Flat hammered gold tone cutie cuties uh, pierced earrings I'll put some backs on them and we'll just do a dollar on those looks like we have a lot of dollar earrings today these are cool they're a little stamped out gold tone with a silver tone at the top um, what is this there is so many crazy things something lodge so what i will do is take a picture and research that there's a lot of really different kind of pins in this box that i'll look up and sometimes these are very collectible unless it's something that's you know not good i would not bother to resell it so i'll look at that stuff first and then decide oh i like this this feels like 
glass. And then it's got this line in the middle. Hmm. I have not seen that before. Really pretty look to it. The back is just a regular back. This guy is dirty and yucky. I don't think this guy is going to make it. So, no sense bothering with that. And look, we have another one of these things. I don't know what that is. They're not bells. I don't know. I guess that's going to go in our craft. Ooh, that's pretty. Let's see about that. Getting down to the little nitty gritty. That looks old. Oh, that goes with this. Like alligator skin or something. Snake skin. And it says Anson also. Oh man, it's really yucky. I don't know if that's going to make it. Yeah, that's going to go in my needs cleaning pile. It's hard when you have jewelry that needs cleaning. It takes a lot of time. And you have to sometimes ask yourself, is this worth the time? The hard part is, I hate to see anything go in the garbage and not be utilized, you know? Especially the vintage pieces. I hate to see those not make it, but we do our best. This looks like it has a little script N on it. N for like Nancy. Pretty. It's got like copper color, little snowflake designs. It looks just like the real gold earrings that we have here. So someone must have liked that style. Let's see if I can find any other matches. Now this looks like a stone fell off. I don't even know what that is, a tie clip or something. So some of this, yeah, a pin that lost something. Would this be it? Oh, maybe. That feels like it goes right on there. It is. So that's the pin, and this looks like that celluloid stuff. That could be beautiful. All the pearls there, yeah. Ooh, I'm gonna glue that back together. That's pretty. But you know what? If you want to glue it and you love it, that'll save me some time. So I would do $5 on that if you want to glue it yourself and enjoy the pin, okay? Because I say I can do all kinds of things and then come time to do them, I might not have the time. Okay, that's a pretty earring. That needs to be cleaned. What about these? Oh, that's funky. I like those very much. That's pretty. I used to not think this stuff was pretty, but I really like them now. I can just see that with a necklace that, you know, has the same colors. I like those a lot. Um, I'll say four dollars on those. What have we here? A bracelet on cording. Blue stones. Pretty colors. It does still work. And they are some kind of gemstone. Probably dyed um, quartz. But I think I don't know, it's not bad, but I think I'll just put it in the craft jar. It's not dirty or anything, I just, I don't know, sometimes get a feeling about that. A little piece of glass that would probably go to something. I like that earring, that's glass. That's that vintage jet glass, faceted. And it looks like it's on the old brass wire. Someone might have put it on a post earring. Don't know. Okay, letter A, 
Another letter A. I don't know, does anyone need cufflinks with a letter A? These are in great condition. Silver tone. If that's you, I'd say $2 on these. See, that's where I don't want to just throw them away if someone can use them. This looks like an old button. That's cool. Okay, what else? This is one of the other ones I threw away. Ooh, we have a chandelier -y type glass, bezel set glass. And, hmm, it's got that little shell that sometimes means it can be a good metal. I'll have to see about that. I don't know, I'm feeling like this is so tedious that you guys might not want to watch all of this. This is a clip-on. I wonder if it goes to that necklace that had coins. I don't know. Hmm. I'm going to pair these up and come back on the video because I don't want this to get tedious with all this little stuff. So you won't know. I'll just, it'll just be like I'm gone for a second. Okay, so we made it. I've worked for quite a long time. And this is what we ended up with. These are our casualties. Unfortunately, there's a lot of them. But these things didn't make it. They either didn't have a mate or something. Sadly, the earring that goes with the necklace that is in one of the episodes only has one. And this goes to one of the necklaces too, but only one. So we are going to build a craft jar and we're gonna name it Lisa. Okay, so I'm going to put these things in as quickly as I can. Um, we have a shell, vintage piece. This is so nice, huh? But good material, at least. This is a brass pendant. It's quite old. I thought that was cool. Some earring wires. A couple of gold tone. These only had one. This only had one. So we've got these earrings. This long, twisty one with the pearls only had one. That's a nice looking. Looks like onyx on sterling. But it's um, not marked. So, And that didn't have a mate. No mate. Nice little chain earring. And the pretty one I loved didn't have a mate. This is so pretty. I thought maybe I could find that, and I couldn't. So pink, pink, um, ti not tiger's eye, cat eyeglass. And that's a pretty crystal on an earring. We've got our glass, um, real glass bead, just one. Avon earring in a present shape of a gift, uh, just one. Just one. My favorite. Just one. Really pretty. But that's okay. Someone will have a good time. This is a really pretty acrylic, I mean lucite. A little pink button. These beads on the chain. This pretty piece. Some pearls and crystals. This one only had one. And this funky monkey, oh, I was sad that only had one. Can't remember if I checked the, oh, the back on it. Um, no, this little stone, maybe it's a labr labradite, not sure. And that's a beautiful little shell. This only had one, pretty, huh? rhinestones, some nice glass, and our chandelier pair. This can be really easily fixed. Someone just has to connect that to that, and you've got a lovely pair of um, bezel set earrings. So really cool. This looks like a piece of abalone, and I didn't find anything to stick to that. A couple of hoops, Pretty stone button earring, 
something fell out. Older Santa Claus. That's the casualties. Now, I also did not find the other one to this, but I'm going to hold on to it because we might be able to use that in our collar jewelry bags, like clip it on some pearls or something. So that should be fun. And these are lovely. I think that the cameos might go to this. So I'm going to do my best at fixing those. Where's my fix it cup? There it is. Okay, now what we do have, well, let's finish the craft jar. Yeah, let's do that. So let's see what I've got. Some of these pretty beads. Some hoop earrings. I think there's several hoops. It's getting caught now. And these earrings. Yep, so I think there's two pairs of like copper color hoop earrings. Nothing wrong with them. They're just kind of thin and, you know, not really feeling like I put a price to them. So, there's also this paper clip. It's like a double strand necklace, but that broke. This is a clip on pendant. This chain just says extra chain. I'm not sure why I decided not to keep it. And this little guy, some gold ring type things. And in some jewelry that I bought on Facebook, um, had a bunch of these kind of things in it. Don't know what that is, but see, like boots and different kind of vintage looking things. So I thought that'd be fun. Oh, these are so cute. These little dragonfly and the little tail is missing. So that's going to go in. We have some beautiful faux pearls. They're glass. This is a, a Talbot's. And the string broke on the end. So if you can fix that, you'll have a lovely necklace. My rings are like feeling loose. And some, all kinds of sample glass on this. Looks like someone made it, but there's some pretty Millefiori beads on there. So that goes in our Lisa craft jar. And we have a beautiful vintage baguette bracelet. It's on expandable metal. Loads of baguettes in there that'll be useful, but there's some missing. So that's a nice piece. Oh, we got lots of pretty stuff. Gold rings, dyed shell, some howlite and feathers. This I'm going to just throw away. A big snowflake with some rhinestones. That's a pretty one. This is very Kendra Scott looking, but I don't see any sign of the name, and there's only one. This is purple shell. That. This is some nice glass right there. And a nice dragonfly piece there. Cool glass. These are cool tiny little beads. So lots of pretty little earrings. These are nice. Rivoli. Hope that's fun. Um, let's see. What else? I want to put some goodies in there. I like that piece. Put all these aside for now because I want to look for some like the special beads I put aside. Like, oh, this is going to be too big. These are nice glass, vintage glass pearls, but I'll have to 
like make little lots of them. Okay. These beads I really love. They're acrylic and gold tone, but they're heavy acrylic. They might be, are they glass? I don't know. It's one of those like really dense acrylic. It feels like glass, but I'm going to put you know, one of each so you could make a pair of earrings or something. Those are cool. And in one of my other special bags, these are like gemstones. Something terrific there. So that goes in. These are gemstones, like a gray color. Oh, that's Labradite. Look at that. The flash on those. Beautiful. Oh, that's exciting. I hope someone's happy about that. And some more vintage glass. And another stone. And this is just a cool. Maybe that's coral. I don't know. But it could be. So that's that one. I'm always saving like little things on the sides I can put in the craft jar that I think would be like super fun. Like this Millefiori bead. Let's see if there's a second one. That would be fun. Mm, no. Like this kitty cat. So that goes in. This is a really old, like, carved, whatever you call that stuff. And a 1928 earring. Probably should hold on to that. I might come across another one, but it's so pretty. Maybe somebody can have fun with that. Cute little stone there. And that looks like another tourmaline. And we're finding that the tourmalines are not always on sterling. So, there's that. It's a beautiful one. I think that might be enough. It's pretty full. I hope it's good stuff for you. Um, yeah, that's all of that. Here my crashing around and my putting things aside. Whipping past the screen so I can get this done. Okay, we have our Lisa craft jar. So hope you can have a good time with all that stuff. I love the Labradite stones in there. And we'll say, come on, Pen. $20 on the Lisa jar. So if you like that, just send me an email. And if you're the first one, I'll put you down for the Lisa craft jar. I'll put some bubble wrap on the top and it will ship nicely. Now, for what's left, we have this necklace. Now, when I did a test on it, when I did the gem identifier, it said this was soapstone, and these were all jasper. Landscape jasper, um, another kind of jasper. And I would think these would be jasper too, but it, you know, I don't know, it might be soapstone. But it's a beautiful necklace. It's all, hand knotted with all the gems. There's no clasp. It's in beautiful condition. Nothing wrong with them at all. Um, it is 32 inches long. So lots of stones. I have not researched it. I have no idea what it goes for. I'm gonna say 25 and see what you think, okay? Lots of hand knotted beautiful beads there. I hope I'm not screaming in the microphone when I bend down to put the jewelry down. Oh, I don't know. Okay, we talked about these real pearls. You know what? I'm going to put one of these in our craft jar that we just built. So just know you're going to have some gorgeous real pearls in there. That will top it off, and I'll save one for next jar. These coin clip-ons... 
I'm going to have to look into because don't know. But I did find the second one. I thought you might want to know that. These are cool. They're um, enamel, hot pink and black, gold tone, great shape. And I'll say $4 on these. These are lovely pearl button vintage screw back earrings that are sterling silver. So can you see the word sterling right there? So I'm going to say for these sterling screw back button pearls, um, let's say 20 on these. And we'll see what you think. I think it'd be really exciting to own something that old that's also sterling. So, and there's my little tag so I don't forget. We have this pair of cute little faux pearl and gold tone earrings. They are pierced and I'll say two dollars on those. And then these look nice. They're glass pearls, little snowman. And pierced again. And I'll say six on these because they're glass. So nice on those. And another pair of little pearl and gold tone with a little rhinestone in there. So those cuties will say four dollars on those. Now these I said, <laughs> I don't know, I said it had an N inside, but it's actually Liz Claiborne. So these pierced earrings with the um, like copper color stamp there are Liz Claiborne. So those are really pretty and I'd say five on those. These are some nice vintage, nice thick gold tone earrings. I'll put some backs on those and I'll say three dollars on those. Set all those down. These are so pretty and they're gonna go with some of my jewelry for the Friday night bags are a nice peach color. So putting those aside, I did find the other cufflink, very handsome on these. Um, and that stone on the end is so pretty. So we've got these, I don't know if anyone can use them. But what were they again? They were cremants, yeah. So if you like that, I'd say six dollars. Very handsome. These are the tiniest hoops in the world, I think. They are sterling. I did test them and they're just adorable. So they have to be the tiniest hoops in the world, I think. And I'd say six dollars on those. Just cute. Then we have this pair of Napier earrings. They are pierced. They are marked on the back Napier. So cute with the little black stone and the silver tone earring. And I'll say five on the Napier. These go with something else that I unboxed in this box. I can't remember, I think it was a necklace. So I thought I'd offer the earrings that match for $4. And they have faux marcasite. These earrings are all sterling all the way through, and they're on these beautiful abalone shell uh, danglies with probably some little tiny onyx or black glass. I don't know. They're so itty bitty. They're lever backs, lovely earrings. They are marked, and I tested them. So these pretty babies, I'll say 18. Okay. Now, what else, what else? Um, this is interesting. I tested this and it's sterling silver. It came up really blue. And the little stone here is ruby. So does anyone know what that is? Does it go on like a bracelet? It's probably one of those bracelet beads that I don't know about. But I thought that was awesome that it's sterling and ruby. So please let me know if you know anything about this bead because I'd love to know and if you have a bracelet that takes that and you're interested, let me know. Okay. So that I'll put aside. Oops. And 
We have this necklace that we looked at before. It's silver tone, it's on a barrel clasp. Silver tone ball beads with some faux turquoise. Nice looking necklace. It is 24 inches and I'll say $6 on this. The J Jill bracelet, I didn't look into it, I'm just gonna price it. It's loaded with some pretty rhinestones for sure. It is marked J Jill, and I'll just say $5 on that, okay? Then this beautiful hearts necklace. Didn't I say I was gonna make a Friday bag out of that? Yes, I did. Okay, I better make good on that. So I hope you're not too disappointed that I whisk that away, but that you'll see it come up on a Friday or Saturday night. Then we have this Howlite necklace. We did see it come out of the box. It's really beautiful. I never poo-poo dyed Howlite. I think it's a beautiful stone and it's very wearable and lovely. So that's what this is. Let me see. I think it needs a little wiping. Just want to check it for a minute so I don't offer you something that, oh yeah, it cleans up great. So that's fine. Okay, so we have this piece and it measures 18 inches and then you've got another two inch extender. Beautiful dyed howlite, and I'll say $8 on that. We're almost done with the whole bag. This is a sterling silver findings. All of that wire wrapped around is sterling on a piece of sea glass. So I thought that was fun. Not sure what to do with that. Put it in a craft jar or... If someone's interested in it, let me know, and I'd say $5 on that. Okay, so we'll see how that goes first. Now, for our Wait for Your Mate board, a lot of casualties on here, but we do have this pair. They are very cool. Oops, my magnet. They're silver tone with brass and this beautiful green bead at the bottom. Let me hold it so you can see the earring itself. So I like them. They're very rugged looking and rustic looking, I guess. Almost looks like it says something there. Let me just check. Can't tell. They might have sterling posts. Um, if you need me to check, let me know. But the bottom part is not. We just saw the magnet stick to them. So we've got these. And I'd say $6 on those. This one is so pretty, but it's a casualty. Beautiful piece to go in a craft jar. These beautiful 1928s, right? Yeah. I think I said I needed to look into those. Sorry about that. I'm sorry to bring them up twice. Um, there's a lot to do on the video. This is only one. So that beautiful baby's gonna go to craft. Now, I can't remember for the life of me, but I unboxed something in this video, in this box of jewelry that goes with these. So here's the matching earrings for all that's worth. And I'll say $3 on those. Gotta keep the sets together. Then we have some Christmas bulb earrings. Not sure if that's something I should offer, but just in case, I will. So I'll say a dollar on that. We have these beautiful little daisies. I thought those were really nice, good condition, good quality. And I'll say $6 on those. This was only one, sad. This is a pair, silver tone, purple and yellow, and I'll say a dollar on those. And then we have these gold tone wires with the sun, moon, and stars, like that. 
Nice looking earrings, really good shape. I like the shape of that wire. So those, I'd say six on those, six dollars on those. And that was just one. And last but not least, oh my goodness, are these. I'm not sure I even got to look at the back of these. These are really pretty. Obviously on a bow with a faux pearl, lots of little tiny rhinestones in there. These are nice quality. Gorgeous Christmas time earrings. And I'll say 12 on those. Those are nice. Okay. This one is so sad because look at this bead. It's glass. This is some kind of, I don't know if you can tell the opaque redness of this, but that's a beauty. I really love this earring. I was hoping I found another one, but I did not. Oh, that glass is so pretty. Just looks old to me, very old and special. So craft jar for someone. And that's it, I have my real gold. And we have these AB crystal earrings, so cute. I will not send them to you on that, I promise. Just didn't want to lose them while I was figuring out what was what. I think they're on Avon backs, so they might be they might be Avon earrings. I'll grab my little paper, put those on here. So if you have an AB crystal necklace and want something to go with them. I wish I could wear these, but I have to wear sterling or gold. So there's those, and I'll say $4 on those. The last I need to figure out is what this is and what these are with all the glue on there. I know they look yucky, but it's just glue. So I have those to figure out, and I have to take back what I said about the cufflinks with the A on them because I didn't realize until I saw this tie tack pin that this is all sterling silver. So it says sterling inside on the tie tack. So then I went, I saw that they had this A and I remembered that I had talked about some cufflinks with an A and I went back and looked at them better and they are marked sterling inside of here. So I almost missed it. This is a beautiful sterling silver set, cufflinks and tie tack. And I think those are gift condition. Very nice. So I'd say uh, for the whole set, we'll do 25, all sterling, okay? I gotta mark those with my little tabby tab thing. So I remember that they're sterling. That way, if something doesn't sell and I go through the bag, I don't forget that it's a precious metal. So I will get that settled. Probably put all this in a little baggie, this little set. So thanks for waiting while I do that and put those together. So that's that. You know I'm going to have to get to work now on my thumbnail. So I'll be bringing things back up to the table. Make a pretty picture that needs to be clean. So I'm going to clean that necklace really well. If you like it and you're emailing me about buying it, don't worry. I will give it a good clean. Yeah, okay. So that looks pretty. This is going to look pretty, so I'll get busy and do all my work, make a thumbnail, post the video, and we are done with the 10-pound box, except for the pieces that I had to investigate, you know, pieces like this. So there's about 20 pieces I have to look into that'll come up priced on another video at another time. So that's that, everyone. I hope you had a good time. There was a lot of little nitty-gritties in this box. 
and a lot of fun times. So thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget that my email is capecodebaygirl at gmail.com. And just send me the video name and episode number if you'd like to purchase any of the pieces you saw. Also send me the timestamps, a brief description of the jewelry, and the prices that I gave. Okay? So thank you for taking time to get that information. It's really helpful. And hey, on your way out, would you click the like button if you like the video? And if you'd like to subscribe, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Click the bell and you'll be notified next time I put out a video. So that's that. And thank you so much. And we'll see you next time. Thumbs up. Come on. We'll see you next time at the Bobbles. Bye.